this and then this I'm a bit late yes I had to take my trash out um yeah I really did have to take my trash out I still haven't taken my shoes off or my socks off That was flipping loud. So. Oh, damn. Oh, and they were going it too. And of course, I. Seating. Yeah. And they're boxers, so. I gotta take my wet sock off. I'm cold. Oh, yeah, I just fuck, forgot. Um, so all the cuffs of my my jeans are all wet. I just need to roll these up. Yes, I sat here and I debated whether or not to take them off. But now I'm just gonna roll them up so I don't have to feel them. Holy damn, that's wet. Ah, anyways, so. send a message to the landlord about it and he said okay and he told me what to do if that kind of thing happened again and I'm just like okay now I know what to do because I was kind of you know lost I was I didn't know what to do honestly and this is happening on a regular kind of thing and I'm losing sleep because of it it's not cool it's not cool I, I'm assuming everyone else is waking up too Police file. Okay, yeah, we already got that. Oh, yeah, I pinned it to there, and then it's actually right, right there. So, I was that far off. Let me edit that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I need to possibly look around this area to see if I can find any loops, and holes. I need a lot of shelves. I have not used a single trap. Sorry, my hair is tickling me. 
Ghastly shadows will take over the sun. The chain of stars is weakening. What is asleep shall be awake. What is dead shall come to life. The end is nigh. The raging waters will swallow the earth. The ghastly shadows will take over the sun. The chain of stars is weakening. My thoughts are maybe I can get around. still coming.
doesn't help. Oh damn, man. Pick up on me. Oh, oh, no, that wasn't good. I'm guessing the little back thing looks like a weird heart or tongue. That could be their weak point. So, this thing makes me look tiny. <laughs> All day, this we're promoting. I mean, like, I, I had a moment. And, um, I was like, I made this joke about how I wanted to return the, um, the cup, but I wanted all my liquid still. I was like, can you do that? And, because I was off the clock, and I was talking to an associate, you know, a friendly associate, and she's like, what? And I was like, I want to return this, but I want all the liquid in it, because the liquid is mine. And uh, then she started laughing and she's like, why do you want to return it? I was like, I was like, well, I'm a left-handed drinker and this, um, this cup isn't, isn't letting me drink with my left hand. And, um, she was like, oh, you just have to put it on, like, weird. And I was like, what? And she's like, you have to put it on weird. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean weird? And, um, oh, did it give me back my traps or? Hmm. I just have to recreate the things because it didn't save. Got it. Alrighty, so. Wait, was there a wall? No, oh, okay. Oh, that scared me a bit. Let's see if there's any more things heading in here. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't have enough for any of that. Uh, that's a part of that. I wonder if all of them are in my bed. Make sure I'm not going to run over in the next shot. Oh, just, just the bad ones. Okay. She, she told me that I need to put it on weird, like, because she said that, like, every time she goes to put it on, um, 
it ends up being in a different place and at first she thought it was just right handed and then she got left handed and then she got right handed. I was like, I was like, how many times have you like taken this thing? I mean, this is the first time I use this damn thing and we just got them yesterday and um, she was like, she's like, oh, I put everything in it. She's like, this is my cup. And I was like, okay. But, um, yeah, so it's like, it's 40 ounces, I think. It's, it's quite the hefty, uh, drink thing. And I made tea this morning and I, I still haven't finished it yet. I mean, I, I put two tea bags in there, so it, it's not that watered down, but it is pretty watered down. But I've been working on this ever since it cooled down enough to uh, actually start drinking it. Does that mean I need to grab those other things again? Possibly. Try to just lean these things down maybe a little bit. I possibly should just keep looking for more loot. Throw me crazy with it. Something about not wanting to eat that. His mother. Four bullets. Okay, aim for pustules. That seems to be a weakness. Uh, three to four bullets. Seems to be the ratio. Um, sorry, I'm still like <laughs> crouched on my room. <laughs> so I edited some videos yesterday of me playing Stranded Deep and I am sitting there laughing at myself. I have it on my Patreon. Um, but anyways, um, <sighs> looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did it?
at long last. I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. Woman who took the mirror. Sorry, cold chill. Goodies? No goodies. Find all the evidence? Doesn't it give us a pat on the back when we do? Um, oh, um. Which way is it going? This way? Get away from the... Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Huh. Sidney Stokes, I presume. Aye, 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 that's right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Ah, uh, okay... Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She she she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Mean like a rattlesnake. Uh, that's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big blowout and she shivved him. Okay, what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Were you hired to kill the Collector, too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to, okay? I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. Oh, please, as K is my witness, I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. <sighs> he did do bad. He didn't have a sickness. Um, I know it was an accident, but if... Uh... Jury of his peers aside, so they could let him off, so... Well, you've had quite a night. Break-in, theft, and manslaughter. I'm gonna have to report this. Uh, please! I, I'll, uh, I'll get the char for this! You should have thought of that before you killed a man. Wh what do you want? Sorry, I'm sort of celebrating. <laughs> Definitely not him. 
All Grove. All Grove. He is right there. I feel like I should go to the dock first. Well, where is the dock? Okay, the hospital's over here, right? Asylum. Okay, so the hospital's right there. So I go if I if I go to the hospital first, talk to the dog, turn in that quest, and then because he's probably gonna have to need time to do something with the goop that I'm gonna be giving him. Okay, so she may look old, but there's not a frail bone in her body, and still more. Incapable of murder. Um, so I do have to go to return to Frog Morton. Okay, so I will select that, pin to the thing, but I also need to. Gotta go to the Oakmont Hospital and tell the doc about that. Okay, so where is my port? It's in Fort Kent. Um, I thought it was funny. Do I need to go to the asylum or do I need to go to the hospital? I think it's the hospital. Is that Oakmont? But the insane asylum is in Oakmont. Or is something like that. And then the hospital is in Cloverfield, which is okay. We'll find out soon enough, huh? I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. Bye. Oh, I got a first aid kit out of it. Sweet. What's this? Okay, ooh. Research on Oakland Post Flood. Fauna. By Professor E. Westbrook, Oakmont University, Part Two with Lethians. The Lethians' form resembles human after numerous autopsies. I can state with confidence that there are multiple pathogens which cause these mutations in human victims. <gasps> They're bald-like colonies act like additional hearts. Ensuring the flow of lymphatic liquids. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just thinking of how they pulsate and then you know it just Oh anyways. Um <laughs> so uh filled with bacteria, the fluid is gathering in the form or human stomach and may be well may then be expelled by the Leith Lithian? Lithians? I want to say Leviathans, but that's because I played, um, 
Subnautica, Subnautica 2. I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, but anyways, Lethians with an immense force, these studies of mortals, these less studied mortals have rapid regeneration and have received reports about race that disappear. Yeah, that one like disappeared on us. It was just gone. I was like, wait a minute. Where did it go? And then there was like a dead body across the room. I was like, maybe? Alright, so... Dr. Rosa, okay. And then this one is... Salvation Karma. Windhelm Street. Uh, former patient. Was that in the same area that I was just at? Check the map. Whoops. Grim Haven Bay, Salvation Harbor. I said wind step and what? Windhelm Street and Loris Road. saying it. I see Windhelm Avenue. But I'm not seeing any Polaris Road. Polaris Road. Okay. So this is Polaris Road. That's Windhelm Street. So it's like somewhere in this area. see if I can get any more loot off of what's his face and then head back over here to get that other thing. We're we'll doing a lot of fast traveling. Um, oh, while I'm here, let me see if I can make any. No shells? Come on, Doc, what's wrong with you? Our currency, right? Bullets. Looks like I have that many. me. I'm tired. I worked hard for my money. I was lifting up stuff. I was moving stuff around. I was trying to be my charming self. I forgot how to midday. I was like, need food. Food need. <laughs> So there's a manager who was supposed to take his lunch like an hour before I took my lunch. But he didn't take it till a half hour after I was already supposed to have uh, about 45 minutes to a half, half hour to 45 minutes after I was already supposed to have taken my lunch. And then he was 
damn near the next hour before I got to take my lunch. And I'm just like, food. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes who happened to be robbing his place. And he wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. Here you go. I'll take pleasure in uh, educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. Do I go after the reward? I need a reward. All right. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. What's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Sorry, that song just popped into my head. Okay, what, what's, you know, he gotta do with this, but like, what's love gotta do with this? It's just that one song. I'm sorry for those who know how that song, oh my goodness, I just got an earworm in your head. I'm sorry. So, anyways, I don't like that song, but it is catchy. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Excuse me. Francis mentioned by the woman behind the mirror left theft must be Robert Thornton, late father. His study in the manor, Robert cleared him to check it and gave him the key. Oh, that could be the place I could not get into and I kinda try to smash the door in, but it didn't work. Alright, he stole the mirror. Herbert Glover's death did not interest Robert as much as the mirror stolen from him. The culprit is a woman who has a bone to pick with a certain Francis. Despite working against Robert Throgmorton, he may know more. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. I think it was upstairs. I'm pretty sure it was upstairs. How many girlfriends did he have? There's like a new woman here every flipping day. Maybe he got around. Maybe they were just trying to um get in the family, you know? Oh, it's finally open. 
Seems an ambitious expedition. Eh, like father, like son. Hmm. Huh, curious craftsmanship. The this must be worth that... a fortune. Sorry, I interrupted. That's the same stuff that's in the um, other one. Let's see? It's like they just copy and paste in that. I can only copy and paste on that. I'm looking sharp, but I guess that's the point. Haha, <laughs> two jokes. Nice. Careful, whatever your name is. I I might catch uh, giggles. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Francis Thogmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious. If sadly, I'm unappreciated undertakings of 1891 he has returned with numerous historical artifacts invaluable anthropological research a newborn son what 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 um christened robert and a plethora of fashioned fascinating culture Insight. I'm so, I'm still stuck on this. We he came back with us son? Did he and his wife go there? Did he impregnate someone on his trip, and then take the child and not the mother as well? What happened to the mother? Did she die in childbirth? Did he just adopt someone? There's so many questions. Alrighty, so uh, today in an exclusive interview with the Oakmont. Chronicles, he has agreed to share some of those insights with us. Th does that mean I get to hear more of the, um, the story? Because it's in the Oakmont Chronicles. 1891, I can definitely pin that. What is this? Is that the mama? 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. Did he just make a joke about that after I made a joke about that? So... <laughs> ah. Well, I might want to take that off. Hold on a second. I'll have to watch that in another... Kid looks a little familiar. Okay, so I gotta read this one now. Francis Thor Thorne Morton Expedition to Africa. Okay, we already read that. Okay, and then next one. Okay. 12 12 9 well, 1894. Francis divorced. It is no simple matter these days. It never has been in their legal practice. You must clearly define the fault. You shall present to the court the most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It is their impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. They do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share their concerns. Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Okay, we can find more about this uh, gossipy stuff at the Oakmont uh, Asylum. Chauncey. So that was their for firstborn. Le left half a torn photo. The mother must have been on the other side.
I might find the other part of the, to the, the totem, the, the photo. Um, kind of stuck. Cut, there we go. Try to pick that up. Okay, so I think it said all evidence collected. No? Oh, damn. What else is there to collect? Maybe I need to look at this with, um... Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. Sorry. <laughs> That's um so funny. It's still so funny. Before I go to the asylum, I'm gonna finish this other quest that I said I was going to finish. I know it was in Salvation. Did I not put the marker down? I could have sworn I put the damn marker down. Where the flip did it go? I don't recall where it was. Something about. Something or another. Give me a second, I might find it. That that area right here. Okay, so closest part to that area is right here. That's gonna be fun. I did find an editor, like, not an editor editor, but like, you know, a video editor that I can start uploading my cooking videos again whenever I do my meat for cooking. So I cook a few meals, um, a week for the rest of the week. It's usually two different meals. So, might be something interesting. Start documenting again. This time I don't have to like edit out all the furniture, all of the mess that somebody made. It doesn't feel like cleaning up, even though that's her area and whatnot. I feel like I'm poking, but I'm not. I'm just saying that I'm. I don't have to. that they can put on um, 
you know?
Really? Okay. Looks like more? Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. The dream returned again, even stronger than before. They felt those things touching him or her. I think maybe it was it? I don't know. I shouldn't assume. Uh, touching them, crawling, leaning towards their warmth. The doctor is a Dane, obsessed with his theories about who can help them. Why does this sound, song sound familiar? Not that I've been listening to it for a while, but it just kind of sounds like I heard it some other... Sorry, I'm trying to think of where I actually heard this. Like another game, maybe? Like a town music, maybe? Um, serious, but who can help? Um, they're losing their mind. Today they woke up and one of those creatures were under their blanket. They mashed, they smashed it on the floor and stomped until it stopped moving, but it was no more a dream. It is real. Neither coffee nor cocaine work to stay awake. Um, okay, help them. Uh, twice they have almost fallen asleep and they appeared again. Creepy. Those bloodstains would definitely attract wild beasts. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. I uh, can't bear to stay awake any longer. Can't let them take uh, them there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear near them, touch them with their cold hands. I have cold hands. Oh, dude, I'm so offended. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sting them with those tails. There is only one way to end the suffering. Okay, forgive them. So sad. So very sad. Key evidence collected. Being alive is damn all right, fine. Where'd I go?
was passive and everything. And some shell casings, so let's just make as many as these as we can. Feeling a little better about that. Okay. Oh dude, I've been I've been getting like points. Do percent chance to double quest reward items <sighs> yes <sighs> points well spent something to do with that pool. this way. Dead bodies on the ground. Because 
because it looks like it went down. It went down here. And then went and hid over that way. But then it looks like it came out too. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. A disturbing dream you complained about may be the result of the Hemlin infestation. Your description of the creatures you see and feel while sleeping is reminiscent of some parasitic form of life. I recommend you follow the recipe below to prepare an omni an ointment of their own uh, devise this should ease your symptoms and help you get rid of any and all parasites. Excuse me. Sorry, we'll have a good one. 